these birds are called cabezas secas, or dry heads, waders that prefer living in community and are within everyone's reach. But they need the laws that protect them to be efficient and reasonable. Massive tourism can destroy the tranquility they need to reproduce, and then the curtain will be permanently drawn on their performance. On today's program, we're going to show you specimens of nature that are willing to welcome guests, but moderately, regulated by a necessary and profitable conservation. Brazil has an income of $40 million based on international tourism that comes to enjoy scenes such as this one. But the South American giant still has things to learn from smaller countries that have a better knowledge of how to manage their natural potential. Costa Rica is 98 times smaller than Brazil, but receives $600 million a year, exactly 93% more profits than Brazil, and without damaging their natural resources. The Brazilian popes of ecological tourism still have a lot to learn.